The Palace Museum in Beijing has announced its first ever comprehensive smoking ban. The new measure is meant to protect its architecture and relics from fire. The campaign encourages people to look at huge social losses caused by smoking. Let's take a look. The Palace Museum, home to the Ming and Qing dynasties, historical architecture, and imperial treasures, precious and fragile. And now protected by the complete smoking ban, and from the palace's biggest enemy, fire. This is a world heritage that needs upgrade protection. I think we need to give the world a smoke-free palace museum. Smoking restrictions were toughened across Beijing in 2008, but the new palace museum's rules will see tourists be kicked out if they break the ban, and their staff called smoking could lose a yearly bonus. It's very hard for a heavy smoker like me, but it's worth enforcing to protect our cultural heritage. The National Fire Department says smoking caused 12 percent of historical building fires in China. Cigarettes also destroy 10,000 modern buildings a year. It also has impact on health. More than one million Chinese died from smoking-related diseases last year. But tougher penalties and harsher bans appear a long way off. In this industries, there's so much revenues. I think more than a trillion、uh, renminbi is generated in a year, and we're thinking about such a huge industries in supporting both the service service for both people and the,、uh, the local governments. Ten percent of the old taxes collected by the Chinese government, that's 240 billion yuan, come from tobacco companies. But the revenue is almost instantly wiped out by the social costs, a figure Peking University estimates to be 250 billion yuan. That's money spent on medical costs, and lost from shorter life expectancy, and dealing with fire hazards and pollution. There are certain kind of externalities which is not always the benefit, but the loss need to be calculated. All I know is. China's external cost is much higher than,、uh, the, say, external cost in U.S. These little things can burn a spectacular architecture behind us down to nothing. The Palace Museum smoking ban has reminded us that there are some certain losses that we cannot afford. For example, history and life. Tobacco business has sped up our economy, but also destroyed it at a faster pace. Gain or loss. It is time for society to redo the math. Yang Zhao, CCTV, Beijing.